included the fourth term EPRDF uh, middle level leaders training from the Oromia Leadership Academy. Fakad Burhan reports. The Oromia Leadership Academy has concluded the training it has offered for EPRDF middle level leaders for the fourth term. The Deputy General Dark. In the attitude that will help them to plan, to implement, to evaluate, and to guide our citizen. And that will again uh, install the uh, mentality of uh, service because to lead is to serve. And to serve is to transform the country from uh, deep poverty to high economic income. Prime Minister Dr. Abiy Ahmad has also delivered his message to the trainees through video conference. The Premier said his government has been working to widen the space of democracy more than ever. <laughs> There were many political parties who had serious complaints on the government who discussed with local and overseas political parties to solve all their problems. We've been doing so to break the feeling of enmity among us. So any political party couldn't raise complaint in this regard because we have invited all political parties to struggle for their people peacefully. But this was impossible and a daydream for many years. It is a great success for us. Dr. Abi knows that the government has done a lot regarding attracting and awaiting diasporas to come back to their homeland. When we see the diaspora, they were insulting high government officials whenever they get a chance for the last 8 to 10 years. The high government officials were afraid to go to America and hide themselves, even if they go there. Nowadays, the situation has changed. The head wall has already been broken. An Ethiopian can move all over the world without any fear due to the change of the diaspora's attitude. They are also on the way of returning to their country to engage in development. He adds that great work has been done to solve social problems of people of the country. The Ethiopian Orthodox Tawadu Church Synod was divided into two for the last 26 years. Orthodox is a huge institution with millions of followers, which has valuable norms and values. When it was divided into two, it also divided the people and their ideas. So we have done a great job to join them for the last four months with great achievements. Similarly, there was difference between youngsters and elders of the Muslim community, but now that has changed and they started discussion to solve their problems. The Premier has also urged individuals and the groups who have been participating on mob justice to stop their bad move, adding they will get hurt unless they refrain from such acts immediately. He further underscored that the government has been working with due attention to decrease inflation and problems related to foreign currency. The trainees have also confirmed their readiness to serve their people by using the experience and knowledge they have got from the training. We have to apply uh, all uh, we have got from the training uh, for the people, for the benefit of the people. We have to be uh, we have to be leaders of application. We have to apply all the trainings on the ground for the benefit of the uh, people. We have to do more for the peace. We have to do more for the development. We have to do more for the people. That's a good respect to do for the people. The Oromia Forest and Wildlife Enterprise announced that it has uh, designed strategies to effectively address public complaints related to benefiting from forest resources. The enterprise has held a relevant discussion in Ambota. Welcome on the Muha the story. A research paper which focuses on forest conservation and natural resources has been presented on stage organized at Ambo Town. According to the paper presented, Oromia is endowed with natural resources but conservation of those natural resources under stress. The main reason of this problem is said to be failure to ensure the benefit of the public. <laughs> 
participation of the community in conserving the forest and natural resources is not enough. On the other hand, there is clashes between the enterprise and the public on border issues. Those are sources of the problem. This implies that unless those problems get solution, the problem will continue. Some participants of the discussion said the cause and reason of the problem is misunderstanding of the public about the benefit of forest. <laughs> The public didn't get more benefit from their nearby forests. The society should get benefit from the forest by providing what's necessary from them. Director General of the Oromia Forest and Wildlife Enterprise, Dribadi Rasad, the enterprise is working on how to sustain the life of those wildlife in relation to the benefit of the public. <laughs> We didn't reach the level that benefits our society. Now we are working on society's understanding of the wild animals. Then after, the benefit will follow. According to the information from the discussion, the enterprise is working to ensure the benefit of the public and the government from wildlife by providing what's necessary for them. Thank you for watching. Have a good time. Bye-bye.